Cue now to the heartbreaking news in Bullitt County. An overnight fire there killing three people in their home. The news shaking the small community of Lebanon Junction. That community now mourning a young mother and two little girls. Here is a map of where this fire broke out. The house is located near the Lebanon Junction Public Library. WHS 11's Connor Stephan has been in Bullitt County all day long. Connor, what have you been learning about this family? Well, Doug, we've been learning a lot. Uh, law enforcement spent 13 hours on the scene here. Uh, now take a look at what is left of this family's home. Uh, they actually have what is now a growing memorial. Our uh, senior photojournalist Alyssa Newton is zooming in on that for you. Family came up to us as they were putting it up, asked that we didn't film them and said that they didn't want to uh, interview with us, but they did tell us they wanted people to take a look at those three stuffed animals that are hanging from those trees alongside the ribbon. They say those represent the three lives lost today. Again, I want you to look at your screen and uh, take a look at the family uh, that lived in that home. First responders arrived on the scene around four this morning to a call of a fire with people trapped inside. Sadly, 27 year old Erin Too Good, her six year old daughter Hazley and six year old Reagan Merriman were not able to escape. They leave behind Too Good's boyfriend and Reagan's dad, Bill Merriman. He talked with us today, giving us this statement. He said, quote, they loved life. They were always so excited to color or play hide and seek. They were so smart. They were improving every day. Tonight, there are neighbors are underscoring what a light these three were in the community. That's from right here in this Preston Highway neighborhood all the way to City Hall. I was in City Hall today and even in City Hall, everybody was just it was just uh, really um, hard for us to grasp. It's like, you know, you're there, but you're in a fog, you know, trying to figure out because everybody in town there uh, knew this family. And so it, it's just really devastating. You just heard it right there, a cloud of fog that's come over this community, and it's what we've heard time and again today from neighbors that we spoke with. The Bullitt County Coroner Dave Billings believes all three died from smoke inhalation. At this time, that's still under investigation. However, the fire chief said the house had no working smoke detector. So tonight he urges everyone in his community and everyone watching, if you don't have a smoke detector, to install one. It's a solemn reminder tonight as this community just starts to begin the grieving process of these lives lost.